Yeah, Clark. Uh, obviously, we can't see practice and see what you're seeing. So just generically, what what, what are you pleased with? What are the things you feel like you guys need to work on at this point? Pleased with uh, the level of competitiveness, pleased with the sustained effort, like need to work on um, a focus in certain areas and execution in certain areas and not to get like um, too coach speaky, but um, you know, I think it, particularly today, too many times, you know, you got a free runner in the backfield or the snaps off or, you know, it's just things like that, that we can't, you know, we can't afford. Um, and um, we did some red zone work today, which was which was our first time kind of working into that uh, field zone. And I think that takes a particular focus on both sides of the ball. And so there was a lot of learning today that way, but um, we'll benefit from that. Uh, so it, we have to be a team that that with each step and each play, we're building into a winning performance. And when you have you know, uh, mental mistakes or, you know, simple execution issues, it's gonna, it's gonna obviously be an impediment to success. So, you know, cleaning up those things. I've loved the attitude, like I said, the sustained energy, I, you know, I think those guys are, are working hard that way. Um, and I, I do see some timing and rhythm starting to develop on offense and I see some confidence starting to develop on defense. So. You know, we're making strides that way, but um, you know, obviously, still a ways to go. Simon, uh, yeah, Clark, uh, is Jordan Matthews um, working with the team in some volunteer capacity, or is he there to train? He he's here to train, and he, you know, I mean, he obviously interacts with our program um, in the hallways, and I mean, he's a obviously he's a he's a product of Vanderbilt. He's the quintessential Vanderbilt. You know, he, he represents a lot of what we're looking to build in this program. I mean, a, a guy that wasn't necessarily a, a coveted recruit that was evaluated here and, and uh, was determined to be a guy that had a high ceiling and he was developed here and has had a great career beyond Vanderbilt. <clears throat> that, you know, and he's a winner. I mean, he's, a, he's got a winning approach, a winning attitude. And to me, the, the more people that we can get around the program that just care deeply about Vanderbilt, about uh, this program pushing towards its potential, the better for us. You know, rules uh, limit his ability to, to interact you know, with our team on the practice field and meeting rooms and stuff like that. But he, he's around and, um, and, and he, knows, he, knows, he knows our players, knows our coaches. And um, he's just interested in investing in what we're creating. So I think that's a win win for everybody. David White, go ahead. You're muted, David. Is it working now? Is yeah. it working now? Okay, yep. sorry. Uh, Coach, uh, I, I'm from Birmingham and um, there was this lawyer in Birmingham who went to Vanderbilt undergrad, went to Vanderbilt Law School. He was a really good lawyer in Birmingham. He said, you know what? We don't need more lawyers. We need more linebackers. And um, you're a linebacker guy. And uh, how is the linebacker group developing? And uh, a guy in particular is Austin Orgy. Um, he, he was a high sports, uh, pretty high four-star recruit and just has the richest potential. At how is that group doing? How is Austin doing in particular? Well, Austin's got to, he's got to get, you know, to perform on the field, you have to perform off the field first. And so, you know, he, he has to, he's working on getting everything aligned for himself so that he can get on the field and perform. It's not a, you know, the, 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 you know, capturing the, the potential, the athletic potential is not, is not a challenging thing. I mean, recruiting rankings are easy when it just deals with strictly high school performance and, and um, height, weight, speed measurements. But, you know, to, to sustain success at this level, you have to have a plan for that success. And uh, we're helping Austin with that. And, and you know, he's, he's making strides, um, but that is a process. And that is something that takes time. Um, we, have, we have big plans for him. We're excited about um, what we see him doing, but, you know, 
um, there, there's a, there's a there's a shared ownership, and and most of the things that have held him back have been things before he gets in the building. So we'll 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 work through those things and get get him lined up and get him ready rolling, and he's he's getting there, and we're excited to see him reach for his potential um, because he's got a bunch of it. But you know, ultimately, you know, the potential only only goes so far, right? It's 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 a matter of you know, are you are you capable of putting the work in day in and out? Are you are you capable of being prepared when you enter this building? Um, do you have the right right attitude and approach um, uh, to the work that's necessary to to be great at anything, but certainly to be great at at this level of competition? Um, as far as the linebacker unit goes, um, pleased with with again the attitude, the the work ethic. I think those guys flashed in the scrimmage at times. I think they. Are um, you know there's a lot asked of them within Coach Mentor's scheme. Um, we're playing multiple front structures, multiple fit structures, um, coverage components, and so there are times when you know um, they need repetition to keep honing in and expertise in what we're asking them to do, snap in, snap out. But I see I see an attacking second level. I saw plays made on on Saturday in the scrimmage that got me excited about where this group's headed. I think it's a it's a strong character group, and um, you know we just got to keep pushing them to to improve themselves. But I'm, I feel positively about their, their progress. Mikey, Chris Lee, go ahead. Yeah, Clark, just tell us about how you feel about Ken Seals, how he's grasping the offense, how he's executing what it is you want him to do. He's they're doing a great job. I mean, Ken, Kenny's doing a great job. You know, Mike is as well. I mean, I think every day you feel like they're they're a step closer, um, you know, just in terms of, again, delivering the ball on time, you know, anticipating where to go with the ball based off coverage structure. Um, and just uh, like a deeper understanding of what they need to do to, to make the other 10 guys on the field better. Um, you know, bo both of those guys bring unique skill sets and Moose does too. You know, Moose has had a nice camp as well. So, you know, we, we the, the, the movement in that room has been great. I think, you know, we're running a system that is, um, it's not, it's not necessarily, you know, dumbed down for that position. I mean, this is not, you know, we have, two formations and two plays and we run them really fast and there's there's intricacy in the execution it's an nfl uh, run and passing game and there's formational aspects cadence aspects and um you know as those guys as those guys are getting more comfortable and you know you see again the rhythm of the offense starting to to um to re reveal itself so pleased pleased with the progress Obviously, look that 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 group is going to be one where our success will be directly correlated to their ability to function. So we're always we're never going to be satisfied. We're always going to be pushing for for a little more. But when you see the ball delivered to space on time, you know you, you start to see the ability, uh, the catch and run ability, um, the ability to move the chains. You know those are things that are starting to show up for the quarterbacks, and you know that's exciting. David, do you have another? David, you're muted again. Sorry, bud. David, you're muted. Coach, I'm sorry. It's uh, all right. It's you're okay. excited about your – you sounded pretty excited about your running back group. I know we're kind of limited in numbers, but um, JV and Marlo, some of those guys are doing a pretty good job. Talk about their their performance so far. I just see a group that that's tough and that's well coached and that's taking coaching. They understand that it just seems like they understand the scheme and what they need to do within it. And, you know, in our first scrimmage, when we needed a big play on offense, they were, they were popping runs. And obviously anytime they're, you know, they're having success, that means the front five are, are doing what they need to do um, to, um, to facilitate that success. But, I, there's just a toughness there that I that I, you know a down in down out reliability where they're they're you know executing within the scheme and finding the big plays within that execution. Um, it's really exciting. I think we got to continue to to um, 
you know, get them involved, get them touches and, and, um, you know, see where those, you know, see the guys that can be, um, you know, kind of breakout runners, the ones that can, they can score on those holes that open up, you know, have the speed to hit the hole and, and to make the defense pay. But all in all, it's, it's a group that I'm really pleased with. And I think in a lot of ways has been a, a tone setter for us on offense. Thank you. All right, coach. Looks like that's all we got for you. Appreciate you. All right. Thank you.